to build up its naval capabilities, replace aging assets, and modernize its forces, the Philippine Navy embarked on the acquisition of new frigates under the Frigate Acquisition Project FAP. This project is part of the Horizon 1 phase of the revised AFP Modernization Program RAFPMP, that was approved for implementation in 2012. This specific resource entry discusses the post-bidding phase of the project, wherein South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries HHI, was declared the lowest responsive bidder, offering a design based on their existing FFX-1 Incheon-class frigate used by the Republic of Korea Navy ROKN. This was later on confirmed to be HHI's HDF-2600 frigate design. The Philippine Navy was in the process of acquiring two, two, light-guided missile frigates as it tries to improve its overall capability. The project was included as part of the newly approved Horizon 1 phase of the revised AFP modernization program approved also in 2013. A decision was made to pursue the project with an approved budget for contract, ABC, worth PHP 18 billion for two frigates and munitions. It was decided by the Department of National Defense DND, to go with public bidding as the acquisition process for the project. The first stage bidding for the project was held on 4 December 2013, with only four, four companies deemed qualified to proceed with the project, Navantia, DSME, HHI and STX Offshore and Shipbuilding. The other three, three companies, STX France, GRSE, and TKMS were considered disqualified due to submission issues, although two of them would later appeal and have the verdicts overturned. These were STX France and GRSE. Prior to proceed to the second stage bidding, the remaining shipbuilders and the Philippine Navy agreed that the munitions side of the project should be separated from the frigate platform itself, as the shipbuilders would have difficulty purchasing munitions on behalf of the Philippine Navy. This issue became a controversy since the Philippine Navy Flag Officer in Command, Vice Admiral Ronald Mercado, raised the issue of non-compatibility with the U.S. NATO Tactical Data Link 16, Link 16, of Hanwha's Naval Shield Integrated Combat Management System, which HHI insists of using. Based on Hanwha's own admissions, the Naval Shield ICMS will only become compatible with TDL-16 by 2019 as the U.S. Department of Defense and its South Korean counterpart are still ironing out the issue to allow South Korean companies of greater participation and in integration of Link-16 on its locally made products.